NCAA transfer rules. Here we go again, guys. Transferring schools isn't something you should do on a whim. Why do college athletes transfer programs? Some student athletes transfer because they're not happy with their program. Shout out to TLP Sports Club, baby. Shout out BWB. BWB. BWB, baby. Shout out to Van Wagon Boss. Shout out to TLP Sports, man. Let's go. TLP Sports, man. Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry <laughs> Billion. Welcome to the Liberian Perspective. Family, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as it uploads to YouTube. Look at the bottom of your screen and cop your BWB gear and rep the most educated, well-informed, these delusional fan base in all, and I mean all, of college football. Don't buy the hype. Bobby WB. Band wagon buffs. All right, family. I got to go ahead and get into this video real quick. So that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. OMG. Why didn't you guys tell me that college football was a soap opera? So much drama surrounding college football. What in the world? Okay. I thought there were rules to this. Apparently, I don't know all the rules i thought i knew enough now since the season is about to start we got about nine more days <sighs> So at the time and recording of this video, we have nine days, nine hours, seven minutes until the season opener. Nine days. We play on September the 2nd, so you can say we have 10 more days left. Chance Main signs with Texas State. What? Excuse me? What's up with the whole idea of the transfer portal window opening and closing? You know what? Let's go to the article. We'll get the article out the way, just like we do here on this channel, guys. And then my perspective comes next. So let's go to the buffalo's wire that usa today.com so that we can get this story guys let's go texas state announces signing of chance mean this story is by jack carlo it dropped august the 21st when i was doing that construction worker story remember that mark vasette story or vasette story when i was doing that mark story they dropped this information come on guys i thought we was cool tony casolo you guys can't give me no heads up where we at anyways Apparently, we're in that cool. Anyways, you know what? Let me not waste your time. Let's go to the story. Let's go. With Colorado season opener less than two weeks away, the Buffs have seemingly lost a key member of their defensive line. The Texas State Bobcat X account, or X is formerly known as Twitter, announced on Monday evening that they've signed Chance Main. What is this? Professional? You know what? <laughs> Y'all gonna stop playing with me. They're going NCAA football. This is professional. Might as well be professional. Main, a graduate student, has had an interesting past year to say the least. After spending the 2022 season in Boulder, Maine entered the transfer portal but ultimately returned to the Buffs in May. Prior to CU, he spent two seasons at Incarnate Word. The Kansas native totaled 27 total tackles, 2.5 TFLs, that's tackle for lost, and 0.5 sacks last season for the Buffs. To add another wrinkle, Jake Schwanschnitz of DMVR Buffs tweeted earlier on Monday that Maine was one of three players dealing with injuries on Colorado's defense. Ah... Jake, you got insight. Jake, Jake with the heavy lifting. My God, Jake, what up, Jake? So there was injury involved. Brian Howard of BuffZone.com, he tweeted, or he X'd it. I don't know what Elon Musk is thinking. <laughs> like they say, he doing too much. Like he X'd it, because <laughs> what are you going to say now? In tweet, he X'd it. <sighs> Interesting. Chance Main, who played last season at Colorado and rejoined the Buffs this summer, was announced as a new signee with Texas State tonight. That's a hit to the DLDE depth for Colorado. That's a defensive line and defensive end for my BWBs who are learning college football, guys. Okay, this is weird stuff. On Sunday evening, Main tweeted, Fear nothing. Take chances. Your name is Chance. Live life. Never look back. Hmm. The Liberia perspective time okay the first thing we gotta talk about is he got hurt so chance got hurt let's go to x shiloh sanders sees greatness in kormani mclean he's doing good he's better and better every week he's going to be a great player i believe that for those of you who think i hate kormani mclean now because i made that video don't buy the hype buy bwb if he was hurt, let's keep in mind, the team is playing TCU in a few days. <laughs> when I said days, I mean days, like September the 2nd. This is September 22nd. 
on Tuesday I'm recording this video. Now, it might come on Wednesday, Thursday, I don't know. But you know how editing goes. So you're telling me, NCAA, your rules are that a player could leave a school, transfer, jump into the transfer portal, get his transcript and everything taken care of within a matter of hours and then the school announces on the 21st that they've signed chance if we do the timeline guys you guys know <laughs> i deal with the details here on this channel i just did a video where i recapped the waiver rules there are rules the transfer portal rules i have that video as well the transfer portal window is a real thing it opens and it closes and when that window closes you can't just open it without some type of exigent circumstance is? Isn't that what they said? You got to prove some type of exigent circumstance to get wave to go. What are we talking about here? What's going on, NCAA and your rules? This is more drama than I can handle, okay? But what are we talking about here? I thought there were rules. All right, guys. So as is customary here, when we're confused, we go to the source, we get information. This source right here is ncsasports.org. NCSA College Recruiting. You can call them. Their number is right at the top right. NCAA transfer rules. Here we go again, guys. Transferring schools isn't something you should do on a whim. But if you're unhappy at your current school, transferring may lead to a better experience. Below, we'll go over the National Collegiate Athletic Association, that's NCAA, transfer rules and why some student athletes might transfer. Why do college athletes transfer programs? Some student athletes transfer because they're not happy with their program. They might not like their current major and realize their school doesn't offer what they want to study or maybe they want to transfer because the sport or coach isn't a good fit they've pushed themselves hard in training and practice only to realize that they don't love it or they thought they would if this sounds like you that's okay college is challenging without the added aspect of playing on a competitive sports team but before rushing to transfer ask yourself a few questions what do you like about your current experience is it the classes the tough practices the coach once you have have an answer to those questions see if you can get an appointment with your college's mental health or counseling services they'll be able to sort through your answers so you'll know for sure if transferring is for you ncaa transfer rules everything you need to know after you have weighed the options and decided to transfer it's time to dig into the ncaa transfer rules and here they are guys constituents i bring information here on this channel to help us to learn this sport to know what's going on around this sport get a better understanding wise whenever i I have a why i try to get answers and you can learn those answers with me on this channel and that's why you guys are here that's why you support me and i do appreciate your support so here it is how can he just transfer i thought the window was closed timing and the ncaa transfer portal the best time to start the transfer process is when you realize you'd like to transfer However, you should begin the process only when you're 100% sure. After you initiate the transfer process, your current scholarship should remain intact. Your scholarship for the following academic term, however, is not guaranteed. If you end up rescinding the transfer and decide to stay at your current school, your scholarship could be in jeopardy. Once your current school knows you intend to transfer, they can rescind any scholarship offers for the next semester, quarter, or trimester. They may even give it to another student athlete. This won't matter if you transfer. If you're sure you're transferring, you'll need to access the NCAA transfer portal. The NCAA transfer portal was first launched launched in the fall of 2018 and quickly became the one-stop spot for students and coaches. You'll need to provide written notice to your college's designated admin to access it. Without written notice, NCAA coaches aren't allowed to contact you. Your college's admin will sit with you to take personal information like your phone number. If you want to be proactive in your school search and reach out to coaches yourself, you can request that coaches don't contact you. This is perfect if you already have a program in mind. Of course, you can always allow coaches to contact you if you don't have a program in mind and want to see what's out there the transfer portal has been an excellent resource for coaches who need players as of august 2022 a d1 athlete can enter the transfer portal only during specific time windows they are as follows here we go guys this is what i was talking about for fall sports a 45 day transfer window begins with a given sports championship selection in essence bold game announcements or release of ncaa tournament brackets for winter sports a 
60-day transfer window begins with a given sports championship selection. For spring sports, a 45-day transfer window begins with a given sports championship selections. Somebody asked this question, so let's go over it. There are many things to remember if you're transferring between divisions. If you're transferring from a D3 school to a D2 or D1 school, you must register with the NCAA Eligibility Center. You don't need to contact the NCAA Eligibility Center if you're transferring to another D3 school. All you need to do is fill out the NCAA self-release form. What about National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, NAIA, students wanting to transfer to an NCAA school? You won't need to register with the NCAA transfer portal. However, you'll need to be approved by the NCAA Eligibility Center if your new school is D2 or D1. You'll also need a permission to contact letter from your athletic department or compliance office. Without it, NCAA coaches won't be allowed to contact you. Lastly, while getting a release from your current NAIA school isn't required, it's often encouraged. NCAA schools won't speak to you until it's done. If you're going the other route and transferring into the NAIA from the NCAA, you'll need to register with the NAIA Eligibility Center. It's also a good idea to check out NAIA transfer rules to ensure you meet them. How many times can you transfer colleges? NCAA colleges allow transferring more than once, but some transfers could incur penalties, especially if you're transferring to a four-year college for a second time. Let's suppose you want to transfer to your third four-year school. Let's also suppose that the previous two four-year colleges you attended offered your sport. In this hypothetical, the transfer is allowed but with a penalty of sitting out a year. That means you will not play and possibly not practice with the team for an entire year. Let's look at another hypothetical. You've transferred from a four-year school to a junior college that's only two years. Now you want to transfer back to a four-year school to finally complete your degree. In this scenario, you can transfer without penalty. Even though it would be your second time playing for a four-year school, it will be your first time transferring to one. If your grades and your athletics are up to snuff, you can practice and play. The minimum GPA, 2.0. Now, Chance Main is a graduate student, so let's look at the graduate transfer rules. You can participate in sports as a graduate. Here are some of the requirements to do that. You must graduate from your current college or university. Have at least one year of eligibility on your five-year clock. You must be going to a graduate school that has your sport. Transfer rules can be complicated. Boy, I tell you. Some sports follow general transfer rules, while others don't. While you can research the NCAA transfer rules for your sport to know what to expect, we recommend getting assistance with this process. So the NCSA college recruiting, these guys are pretty good. I've read their material before. This is the site that I use to bring you some of the rules that I've brought you in the past. I still got questions. I guess the question remains, so that 45 day that they're talking about for fall sports, when does it start? When does it end? <laughs> because the transfer portal, as we know, it was already closed. So what are the circumstances that Chance Main was able to transfer, put his name in that portal and get picked up so quickly? Those are the questions that I have. It's interesting, man. College football is very, very complicated. The NCAA rules and regulations, it is something else. Boy, we haven't even touched the fact that he left. Why did he leave? We don't know any of that information and we're probably never going to know until he does his interviews. We know that Chance Main loves to talk because when I did that Chance Main video, that guy, he's a talker, okay? So he's going to talk eventually. Somebody's going to ask him the question and he's going to answer the question. The season is nine days away. And guess what? There's going to be a microphone in front of that guy real soon in a couple of days, okay? And he's going to be talking. I guarantee you, we'll find out. And when I find out, I'm going to bring you that story. That's for sure. Now, I am going to Texas, okay? For that TCU game. Y'all want me to sneak over there and go ask Chance Main some questions? Texas State. I'm only assuming that Texas State, the college or the university is in Texas, right, guys? Uh, This is a moving puzzle, boy. So if Jake Swashnick, if he tweeted on Monday that Chance Main was dealing with injury, then it is possible that the coaches, the staff spoke with them, let him know that he probably wasn't going to start or his playing time was probably going to be low. Because obviously, as you can see how Coach Prime is dealing with Alton McCaskill, Coach is like, look, man, you're not ready. He keeps asking Coach, hey, man, when can I get rid of this yellow jersey? Coach is like, listen, this is a marathon. This ain't no sprint. Understand. Look at the bigger picture, bruh. You want to make a commercial? I'm trying to make a film. Talking my language. <laughs> 
He's speaking my language right there. You trying to shoot a commercial? I'm trying to shoot a film. I want the whole thing. You gotta love the way that Coach Prime thinks, boy. Woo. I listen to him for inspiration, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I just listen to that guy for inspiration myself. Forget about everything else. I'm like, man, can you imagine? Look at the bigger picture. So what was the bigger picture for Chance Main? The bigger picture for Chance Main is playing time the NFL. That's the biggest picture for him. It's interesting how it transpired. When did it start? When did he get injured and start the process of transferring? Because that happened really fast. My wife is a mental health professional, so she's trying to get her company in different states. So she's going through the process of trying to get her old college transcripts and get all of that process going. If you guys have ever gone through that process, it's not something that just happens overnight. Now, I'm not saying they got to take weeks and months. I'm just saying that it's a process. So the question is, when did he start that process and how did it happen so quickly? My goodness. Boy, he moved fast. As soon as they said go, he's like done. Good lord whatever the circumstances was that he left i always let you guys know we're dealing with young men who are navigating their life this is a personal decision he's in grad school and i believe you get two years for grad if his chance <laughs> pun if his chances are limited if his time is, is running out then you make the best decision that you can for your personal life ain't nobody staring in that mirror but you so when you stare in that mirror every decision that you make you got to be able to live with that decision every single day was this the right decision for me did i make the right decision all right we all think about all of the kids that left think about it we heard from a few of them maddox cop coach prime told me to leave they're not waving me zico gotta sit out they told him to just block and work on his game he said i'm out of here you're gonna have to think about those decisions that you made if those were the right decisions and you're gonna have to live with those decisions coach prime is not the only place you can play football he's not boulder colorado is not the only destination for football so we understand that these kids are gonna make decisions me being a sports channel me talking about sports news and stuff like that bringing a perspective i want to know what happened if you watch the videos the well of media videos or the reach the people media videos I saw at least one kid on the crutches. So there are students there that are dealing with injury. Now, how long that injury is, only the school and them know. So does that mean that the transfer window is open at all times? Oh man, guys, the season is about to start. We got nine days left. I'm excited to bring you information, as much information as I can. We're gonna have a lot of fun this season. Chance Main is gone. In the comments, are we gonna get the normal? Oh, he wasn't that good anyway. What are we gonna get in the comments this time? He wasn't gonna start. We get a lot of those. But what do you think about Chance Main? Was he really a good player? Do you think he was that dog that Coach Prime was going to depend on, on that defense was he really that guy are we really losing depth or it didn't matter let's sound off in the comments i want to know what your thoughts are if you have anything to add to the conversation about the rules and where they stand and stuff like that if you've been here for a while and you know about college football and their rules and stuff and what in the world is going on please let me hear from you in the comments guys thanks for watching and thanks for listening all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got something out of it i'm gonna leave it right there you know who i am i'm harry b and that right there was the liberian perspective that's t l p sports club Brrah.